let's talk about Infrastructure Manager. After finishing the application development, we can move on to the next step, the application deployment, where the Tosca Riser and the Infrastructure Manager tools are the key components. In this video, we will focus on the Infrastructure Manager tool. The IAM tool enables the user to deploy customized virtual infrastructures on cloud computing infrastructures described using the Tosca standard. It also automates the deployment and configuration of virtual machines on multiple cloud backends, thus enabling the dynamic deployment of OSCA services along the computing continuum. The IAM is used because providing and configuring complex virtual infrastructures is not an easy task due to multiple APIs and different configurations involved. Furthermore, the usage of multiple backends is necessary to support the deployment along the computing continuum. The dynamic deployment of customized virtual infrastructures is not a easy task without AI Spring tool. It's not easy to deploy virtual machines on multiple cloud backends because it requires dealing with different APIs, credentials and configurations. You need to customize virtual infrastructure to the precise user requirements and this requires the automation and the configuration mechanisms. It facilitates the use of multiple cloud backends, requires providing the user with multiple interface because each cloud provider uses different APIs, different client tools, etc. And once deployed, the infrastructure usually remains static. But using AI Spring tools, we, the user can deploy the required virtual infrastructure to support both training and inference AI model based on Elastic Kubernetes cluster. Because the IAM can provision these customized clusters on multiple cloud backends, on premise or public clouds. The IAM can also deploy OSCAR services on pre provision OSCAR clusters at the edge and provision whole OSCAR clusters on available cloud backends. Furthermore, the IAM can dynamically add and remove nodes in an already deployed infrastructure and resize particular nodes if needed. Just give a brief introduction to the Infrastructure Manager. It is extensible and has a pluggable architecture that enables to add any cloud provider when it is needed. It supports the Tosca standard for describing the cloud application architecture, so it uses an infrastructure as a code parroting. It supports a wide variety of cloud backends, thus making applications cloud agnostic. It is integrated with EGI Code Compute Service and it appears in the EOSC marketplace. It provides cloud continuum support and is working in production with tr Late. So now let's see the demo video. This demo video we will show how the IEM can deploy an Oscar cluster and an Oscar service on top. In particular, we will show the Larry Faces component. We will test the component to see that it works properly. And finally, when the inference process has finished, we can deploy the infrastructure. The first step to access the Infrastructure Manager dashboard is to log in using EGI checking credentials. Then the user can select the platform to deploy. Now we will select an OSCAR cluster and an OSCAR service on top of it. Now we will have to set several input values. We can set a name for the deployment. We will set the default values for the hardware part. We will set the OSCAR parameter, we will set the password for different components and we will left the rest of parameters using default values. And now we will define the OSCAR service. We will define the Blurry Faces component, we define the amount of memory and CPU required, we set the image uh, we will be used, the Docker image, and finally the script to be executed inside the Docker image. And the final step is to select the cloud provider that we have in our list of cloud providers, and in particular we will use our own OpenStack sites. 
and finally we select the Ubuntu 22 image to deploy infrastructure. Now the deployment has started and the infrastructure manager is creating all the virtual resources that are required to this infrastructure. The first step, the virtual machines are created and then we have to wait a bit to be all the steps configured. Once we have it configured, we can see the output section where we have all the endpoints and information required to access our Orcas cluster. We access using the password that we have set a simple value. And we can see our builder faces service that has been created on top. Now let's test this service to see if it has, it has been correctly deployed. We have to load a video file in the input packet and this will trigger the execution of the task. Now the video has been uploaded, so the task has been started. Let's see if it's working. Okay, we can see that the task is running, so we have to wait a bit to have it uh, succeeded. And then we can see the output files. In this case, we can see a set of images that have been extracted from the video and the faces have been blurred. Okay, if we have finished our inference, we can go to the Infrastructure Manager. In order to release the resources, we click on Delete. And the virtual cluster will be deleted from our cloud platform. You can see that the PMs are, are being deleted. And with this, we can finish the demo.